glorify his name from the depth of your heart. Lift your hands and just worship him. Salt his name that lives forever. Give him praise and glory. We give you praise, mighty God. We exalt your majesty. Lift your name on high. Blessed be your name. We adore you. In the name of Jesus, how great is thy word. Oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonders conceive. Thank you. 
hands one more time and just magnify him. Give him praise and glory. Exalt him. Amen. condition God is healing them all. There's someone with a swollen neck, your neck around your right side swollen, you are healed in Jesus name. There's somebody with another neck problem at the back, you couldn't do your neck like this, you are healed in Jesus name. There's a lady with a lump in the womb, you are healed in the name of Jesus. There's somebody with crown here, your hand. There was a sword. Look at your hand. Open your eyes and look at your hand. That, that swollen is gone. You were born and it grew up since from childhood. Check your hand, it's flat. There are somebody with rashes who is healed in Jesus' name. Somebody is healed of hand here in the name of Jesus. someone with severe chest pain, you are healed in Jesus' name. There are someone with uncomfortable cough, you've been coughing, you are healed in Jesus' name. There are someone with hiccup, the hiccup has been terrible, you are healed in Jesus' name. Everyone with pain is healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Every sick be healed in Jesus' name. There's somebody with severe waist pain, you are healed in the name of Jesus. 
There's an elderly woman with arthritis. You are healed in Jesus' name. There's someone who could not stoop down, no pain, no pain, pain, no pain. A footballer, as I'm talking, is healed in Jesus' name. You couldn't play football for over three months because of that pain. You are healed in the name of Jesus. There's somebody who came for the first time. You can't stay where there's cold. You are healed in Jesus' name. Then there's someone here testify by tomorrow. You can't bathe cold water. If you bathe cold water, you will be rushed to the hospital. You are healed when you get home today. Pour cold water on your body. That strength plague will never occur again. And then give the testimony to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Miracles, miracles happened yesterday and today. God healed you yesterday. We couldn't take testimonies. Later, God heal you. Rush out to the right, to the left. Right now, miracles are happening. I don't need to struggle for miracles. Come to the front of the church where you are. The miracle belongs to you, but the testimony does not belong to you. The testimony belongs to God. And what you don't testify, you may lose. For God to put a seal on the miracle he did for you, come out to the front and shine so with God's people. There are medical doctors. There are pastors in front of every church. Come to the front, close to the altar, right, left of the church, and there are people out there to take your testimony in all our churches. Those worshiping online, make sure you pass your testimony through the email address and let Jesus alone be glorified. God has for you, may you be able to discover it. I just turned and God showed me a young man. He said, The last thing he will ever want to be is what he has called him to be. But you don't tell somebody such thing. You pray that God should show you what he wants you to be. When God wanted me to be a pastor, I didn't want to be a pastor because never in my life, he doesn't look it, even in the dream, he will never believe. But he will see when the time comes, he'll be shocked. And God will use him mightily. It doesn't look it, no sign at all. Nothing. I never looked like a man God will use. I was on the other side. Just told him, said, that man is an instrument in my hand. Say, when he, until when he discovers he's not time yet, he's a man nobody will ever, because he doesn't look it, he's completely on the other side of life. Even if he's born again. They don't tell somebody such. He will discover it himself. He's a... Amen. Lord, tell me. Amen. Reveal yourself to me, fool. Word of knowledge about someone with severe chest pain. Pastor, this is a lady. She said for several months she has been having severe chest pain 
And that when this chest pain comes, it comes with severe uh, chest tightness to the point that even breathing becomes a problem. She said she had taken medications. That she has come to church hoping God will touch her. But right in this service, as the word of knowledge came forth, she felt cold moving through her throat down and she's completely lady, healed. No pain. You're shedding tears of joy. Yes, sir. Don't cry. He loves I you. I give God thanks. Don't cry. He loves you. Yeah. For you to cry is a serious business. Move your chest like this. No pain. No pain. No, daddy. You want him to touch you? Lift your hands yourselves. Tell him, Holy Spirit. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Touch me. Touch Something me. Something will happen to you now. Is well in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. Jesus. Pastor, uh, this young man said on Sunday, he said he had this excruciating chest pain and his wife told him to go to the hospital. But he said he was going to come for this program and he was going to get his healing. But right in this service, the power of God has hit him and he's completely made whole. God bless you, young man. Yes. Pastor, yes, doctor. this man shared with me that for the past seven years, he has severe abdominal pain, which has been recurring. But right, it has caused him so much discomfort. He's been unable to sleep, unable to even take food. He, and he said, why he came to church yesterday, the power of God touched him and he's been completely made whole. You are the healed. pain completely disappeared. You are healed. Amen. Go and enjoy your life in Jesus' name. You are clapping for yourself, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 Pastor, yes. yes. This is her first time ever in Salvation Ministries. Yes. She came in with neck pain, and then you gave a word of knowledge about someone with neck pain. She said immediately you gave that word of knowledge, the neck pain disappeared, and she is here to return the Turn glory to God. your neck, no pain, no pain. God has healed you. God enjoy your life. Amen. Pastor, yes. You gave a word of knowledge about someone with neck pain. Pastor, this is a lady. She the said, to neck pain, you to she neck pain. It. then secondly, that she has this severe abdominal pain. Now, Pastor, when this pain comes to that point, even to defecate is a problem. Because whenever she tries to go to the toilet, she feels this pain. But right in this service, no pain. No pain. All of them are crying. Are you know that you? Don't cry. He loves you. You are healing Jesus. Amen. Yes, quickly. Papa, this young lady has been having neck pain. And right here in this service, after God the word of her, God, God healed her. Jesus, hand turn that neck. While this lady is five months pregnant, she's been having lower abdominal pain. Right here in this service, after the, the word left. of the pain is gone. She's pregnant with pains and pain left. Give Jesus a hand. Pastor, you gave a word of knowledge concerning someone who had swelling on her wrist. This is the lady. For the past 22 years, she's had swelling on her left wrist, which is ganglion. She had gone to the hospital and they told her that surgery will do the work. But she, she had faith in God and came to service. After you mentioned the case... The her head was visibly swollen. Lady, come. Come and pick it. It didn't vanish? You can't find it? Yes, you ain't giving Jesus a hand. Listen, where was it? You can't come and pick it. Her hand was physically swollen 22 years. They did the surgery before, and you can't find it now. Give Jesus a hand. Are you happy? In the world, when God done the surgery, no scar. Even if they have done it, there would have been a sign to show they removed something here. You know like what God did for you? Yes, you are the miracle worker. He, he loves you. He loves you. Thank you, Jesus. Come and do a Oh! Uh -huh. 